Uh, so yeah, I um, wanted to tell you today about uh, you know what exactly goes into just making um, one of the parts on uh, out of the many on this big giant robot that we're building. Any of the, the weldments for each of the parts that, that we're, we're going to be making up, they get designed by our engineers up in the office and um, we'll send those designs off to our laser cutter who will then take the designs, cut the, the designs out of uh, plate steel and then send them back to us and we'll get them back check to see that everything fits up properly because um, everything should fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. And then I'll go through and check what needs to be welded and how we're gonna weld it. Um, any of the pieces that need um, any sort of prep, like whether it's just grinding off mill scale before we weld or beveling the parts, go through and mark them up where they need to be beveled or ground and then take each one of those parts, grind them down and then uh, Put, the, put everything back together, and once all that's finished, it, the part's ready to be welded. We'll hand it off to the welders who will get it, who will get it all stitched together, and then at, at which point we go through and we do, we'll do post-machining. Any of the parts that need to meet up to other parts of the robot, the, wel the welding process will warp those parts slightly um, so they have to be machined afterwards um, so that to make sure that everything lines up properly. After which, if all goes well, it's ready for assembly, ready to go on, on the robot. I mean, the whole thing is, it seems like a very straightforward process, but um, each one of those steps can be tremendously time consuming. Yeah.